let's do a little deep dive because you guys can speak to this. I, I'm, I'm from a baseball background, and baseball to me is it's one of the best life lesson teachers of any sport around because the whole game is centered around failure. What makes boxing such a good teacher from taking young troubled youths into, like you said, you take them in, they, they have successful businesses now. Great well, question. it's self-discipline. We're, and and, and uh, you know, you, you come from a, it's a team. You know, you're you're looking at football as a team, all that. Boxing is an individual. You uh, first foremost an, is an individual sport. Hmm. You might have your team around you, but you step in there like the pitcher's mound. I would say mm-hmm. by himself. You win or lose. Catcher, I catch, I win or lose. The boxing, same thing. There's self-discipline that they have that they need to have, and the self-confidence that they need to have. That self that we build up into them and step into that ring, like Chet was saying, you lose half your nerve, half your energy when you step into that ring. That's that's you know, uh, in football you got your buddies to hang and you blame your buddies or blame the hey he he fumbled the football. That's why we lost. You it's all you. And so in life, it's all you in life. Right. You're gonna fail. It's all you. Can't pay the mortgage. It's on you. It's not your teammate. It's on you. Boxing's just like that. That's step in that ring. Win, lose, or draw. I fall. It's not how I fall. It's how I stand up for the next one. Mm. So that's exactly how what we teach in there. And mm. uh, every one of them do it. I mean, it's cliche. That old Rocky, you know, the Rocky quote, you know, it's not how hard you can get hit, but how hard you can get hit and then keep moving forward. Yeah. And same thing. I mean, we got, we got kids at the gym that, I mean, there's a couple kids at the gym I haven't seen win a fight in yeah. a long time. But they keep getting in there, and that's, they're never going to be, you know, my, my, up, up in the gym, uh, there's, there's a, a big picture, of the, there's a big, there's a picture of the three brothers, and there's a quote my dad gave <clears throat> uh, before he passed away, and it was, you know, we don't, we're not saying that all these kids are going to be world champions, um, probably, you know, probably never will be, but if they keep coming down, and they keep trying, and they keep working on this, I'm ad-libbing a little bit, but uh, guaranteed says, they'll be better citizens. guaranteed they'll be better citizens and that's all we can hope for amen um, and that's that's really what it's about right uh, is well, there's only one champion that's it you know there's only one guy yeah. and it can't be everybody no but there's a lot of life lessons that come in just the pursuit of like you said just step in the ring one time yeah. you oh, know yeah. you're gonna learn a lot about yourself a whole lot yeah I mean I, you see a lot of kids who get in the my dad used to have a saying sometimes you'd see a kid get in the ring to spar or something or even it, it, once he got a fight and he wasn't very good maybe he'd always joke and he's like yeah you maybe you ought to take up checkers you know? <laughs> uh, but you know what if that kid had the guts to step in there one time that's more guts than a lot of kids have and i feel uh, we've done our job if, if i get a kid that wants yeah. to fight step on that ring hey i've i've, I've done it good job yeah. the kid's willing to take on life willing to say hey uh, you, he's got like three or four hundred strangers staring at him he's going to face an opponent that he's never seen before he's going to fight this kid that's a lot to say for an eight-year-old even to, you know a 17 year old kid a when lot. you see your state when you do your i'd love to come and be a part of that that sounds like a I'd lo- yeah kick we'd love to. yeah and we have i mean there's there's bouts that happen all over and we the have valley. fights all over. i'm the uh, vice president of usa boxing hmm. and we have fights coming up all over we, i'll get, tell chet and chet's actually he's uh, one of our officials and he officiates and gets in the ring and all that stuff and helps so he doesn't say he you know he doesn't uh, toot his horn enough either so he's out there on the fights donating his time officiating getting in the ring so does larry you know, they even out throughout the whole year. Larry will travel to, to uh, Idaho and help out there as well as I will. Mm. You know, and we so. have we have guys like that all over the, the state you know, that aren't maybe affiliated with our gym. You know, that are donating their time as officials because they see the same thing. They see what these kids. Could, could you know, a lot of there's some boxing gyms. I went. I don't know how many that are like ours that don't charge. The majority of them charge even the free business. ones charge i'm sorry yeah. even even the free ones yeah. charge yeah. we don't they'll charge ten dollars or fifteen dollars or whatever we charge mm. nothing yeah and so cool. but a lot of these guys are donating their time as an official or something like that but they they see the benefit of it uh and what it does uh you and know, officials don't get paid either no no mm. yeah that's wow that's all 
Uh, it's a wonderful. It's a it's a wonderful vision. It's a wonderful future that we have ahead. Now, there's you have programs that you're going to be doing within the new facility to help, um, of course, pay the bills, keep the lights on, and things like that. You were telling me a little bit about that. Um, rock, rock steady. Rock yeah. steady. Well, a few years ago, about three, four years ago, we were uh, in, in the process of building this building. We wanted to, you know, bring something to help. Uh, people with old timers or you know a, a, a disease and dementia there's a pro program that was started I think in Florida now uh, legend has a program like this but we wanted to do it ourselves so we flew out to uh, to uh, Florida and spent a week or two down there going through their their program so we can bring it back home and teach it here and offer it here for people that rock steady it's for people that uh, you know uh, any ages that has dementia and it teaches your hands and feet like boxing to work together and it's you give them gloves they hit the bag it's a great program it's uh, that's one of the programs that will be paid by through insurance that will help us keep the lights on to help other kids come in and do for free so that's one of the programs we have and did you, we did hire a director that will probably uh, have uh, rent out some spaces we have to do like a little dance studio upstairs you know, maybe rent that out during the day or what have you. Have we're gonna have state of art weight room, uh, a, a state of art running track. Uh, uh, it's just it's the state of art gym. I mean, uh, uh, not one like it in the state of Utah. I don't exactly. think not one like it in in our region. Wow. So it's yeah, it's gonna be pretty. It's gonna be pretty impressive, especially coming from where we've come from. Right. From you know out on the back lawn. Yeah, kind of have stepping a, in a like hole and twisting your ankles. Most gyms are like almost falling over, and like you said, they smell like sweat. Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah. we There's even a... have a doctor's office in there. Our mm -hmm. doctor, uh, Doctor Murdoch, he's a, our volunteer. He's our team doctor. He's a surgeon that works for Riverton Hospital. We built him a doctor's office, so none of our kids pay for physicals. Wow! Comes in and, and handles it all. Handles it all for us, man. Hmm. Yeah, so it's going to be it's going to be state of the art type of facility, uh, and you know, like I said, we'll have we'll have to have other courses to be able to keep it operating for operational costs. Uh, you know, and like I said, they may be just get in shape courses throughout the day. You know, or, or personal trainers will rent out some space to them, and they can go out and get their own clientele, and they'll rent that space from us for so much a month or whatever, and they'll bring their own clientele in. They'll teach have, yoga upstairs, teach whatever, yeah, right, whatever, yeah, right. Keep the lights and, on, yeah. Yeah, to, to, to amazing. Keep it going, and then but it, then at night, our kids will come in and we'll be free. our, our boxing, boxing gym. gym. Yeah, yeah, right. And even if our kids come in like during the day or something, and if it's open, and if if they belong to our gym, they want to run. It's free. They want to lift or they something. Want to lift? Like that. It's free. Not just from six o'clock on. It'll be free for our kids that are boxing for us. Hmm. That's awesome. So, That's really cool. Yeah. yeah. 